I am here with Robin Kay. Hi, Robin. Hi. <laughs> we are at Ontario Tech U. Yes, I am wearing an old swag top. I'm waiting for the, the new swag to come in with the Ontario Tech U. But I'm a graduate student at Ontario Tech. And Robin, what is your role at Ontario Tech? Right now, I'm the interim dean in the Faculty of Education. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> it's really exciting. It's really exciting. <laughs> It's different. It's, it's definitely different. different from teaching and research, for sure. And you do teach at the university. I know I've had you as a prof myself. Yes. So, you were uh, lucky enough to have me as a prof. Uh, yes, that's right. <laughs> lucky enough to do this with you, too. Exactly. So, so what do you teach? Without uh, You don't have to give the whole roster, but what's the... What's uh, the well, I just taught learning and development in the Bachelor of Education program, and so how people learn. Mm -hmm. And with you, I think I taught advanced research methods, uh, so helping prepare you to do some fun graduate thesis stuff, and uh, technology in the curriculum, so how to use it and how to use it effectively. So those right. are the key areas. Yeah. We actually have a, a really terrific graduate studies program at Ontario Tech U because it does focus on digital technology we get the opportunity it's amazing to the virtual mm -hmm. classrooms you need to sign up for that one yeah. if you're interested because if yeah. you're busy which yeah. everybody is it's a great program to drop in but you have the virtual class you have the virtual classrooms that keep you honest right so yeah they really do every week you have to go to them if you're left with the regular online learning it it's not as work. motivating. It doesn't work for me. I don't you think You just I've have to remember to turn to make sure when you send a, a chat message to someone in the virtual classroom that you actually send it to the person and not the whole Oh, well, that's a good idea. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, fun fact actually is that I I don't I don't think I've signed up for a lot of online courses like with Udemy and stuff like that. Never mm -hmm. finished one. I've gone through each okay. and, and looked at it yeah. and they're good videos and everything, but without that regular time push kind of thing. It's tricky so, yeah, for me. Yeah, so it's as close to a, a real classroom as you'll get. Much know. closer than you think, yeah. actually. I actually was really hesitant to, to teach in it because I liked being in front of people sure. and getting mm -hmm. laughs and doing that kind of stuff, which really isn't what teaching is about, but, yeah. and it's not about There's life. a part of entertaining in it. Well, there is, at, yes. but when you do the online, it's you, you see people's faces and everything, not as clearly though, and sometimes it's just you up there, so it does yeah. feel like you're kind of bombing at a comedy club. <laughs> <laughs> and well, uh, they're probably the laughing. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully there's a little laugh in the chat or a smile, yeah. but uh, you just focus on the the actual learning, oddly enough, and you get into small groups, and it's pretty exciting. And I could go on all day on yeah, programs. So. Yeah, no, it it's actually a fantastic program. I'm really glad to be a part of it, and. Mine's all, mine's wrapping up. I have another couple of sessions, I think. So say you. So say me. <laughs> oh. And we're, we're happy to have you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, I always like to ask, what's a, a fun fact about people when I do my LinkedIn videos? Are you willing to share anything fun or interesting about yourself? Absolutely. I just bought a new motorcycle. Oh. And if you are into motorcycles, it's a Honda CBR 500. And How much does it cost? Uh, I'm just joking. I wanted to see money, if you would answer. A lot more money than you, <laughs> more than you would think. But it's worth, well, so far it's worth every penny. And I have to admit, it's great to be, it was great to be a student again mm -hmm. because I was scared to drive, to ride this. You hear everybody, if you say you ride a motorcycle or you're going to ride a motorcycle, everybody shakes their head and, and they discourage you from doing it. And they tell you about every accident that they've yeah, ever. Yeah, of course. And uh, which is probably good advice, but so when I was on it, I was I was really really scared. But when I got it, and I just got it this weekend, actually, it was a thrill. I really admire that. It takes a lot of guts, um, but it gives you the the opportunity to you know have some I guess meditative time almost. I think on a motorcycle. Uh, not yet. I'm still paying attention. <laughs> And pretty excited that when I go up to 90 or 100 kilometers an hour, I mean, when in, in a motorcycle, it feels like 150 in a car right. or more. Like yeah, it's okay. just, it's amazing. But uh, I do country roads and I, I love it. And, and you're learning while you're doing it. And, mm -hmm. and actually, I think it's making me a better driver in okay. three days because I'm much more relaxed. 
uh, and mindful of the of, of the everything. Well, yes. well, that too, but but also just when you're riding a motorcycle, I'm I'm the opposite of impatient. I'm just okay. Really, really careful and cautious, and just kind of taking things hmm. in. So we'll have to have to use that. So whenever you get impatient in in school, we can say. We need the motorcycle Robin on right now. Right. Yes, yeah. the patient Robin. Well, there's also the accelerating Robin, too. <laughs> who just loves That's the, a guy the, thing. I don't know. Oh, no. come on. It's quite a thrill to... So, on uh, that note, hey, I, have a, I have a question. Um, do you have any advice for students that you think might be helpful? I have a lot of advice. We uh, only have a couple more minutes. But... <laughs> I would say the most important thing is really get in tune with what you're passionate about and the rest will follow. If you pick courses that you think you should take, and I know some courses are required, mm -hmm. that's always a challenge, but when you're at university, you need to pick what you really want to take. I, I shifted all over the place. I was at first in, in, in computer science, then I went to psychology, then I did a bit of both, but I also tried to pick up courses that I thought were really interesting because it's a long haul. It's for master's program too. If you don't yeah. pick what you're passionate about, uh, I guess that's life advice. So that's simple sort of advice. Okay. Probably the second thing would be, <laughs> and the video's too long, yeah. but <laughs> is, is really do things that are not academically related. I know mm -hmm. that's sort of odd advice, but if explore the world there's so many opportunities i went to u of t there were so many opportunities Me that, too. that i did hey. yeah, I, all the way through it awesome uh but i did not take advantage of all the clubs and the organizations and all the really interesting things that were going on because i was so focused on my academics and i i i don't regret it because each path you take you know mm -hmm. takes you somewhere that that you can benefit from and you learn from but I would really try to look around and, and find out what is not academic that you would be really interested in because I think that's the passion. Thing yeah, it so. just enriches the overall experience. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually really great advice for all of us, students, parents. Human I can beings. tell you the motorcycle thing, it just opens up things. <laughs> Here I'm, we go again. I, I'm, well, I'm, gonna, I, 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 I'm <laughs> going out with my team to Prince Edward Island. We're going to go skydiving. How exciting. Oh, see? And there we go. You're convincing me about uh, This may be the last salsa video dancing. you ever see I, of Robin Kelly. I'm pretty going to give up intern <laughs> Dean and just do full time having fun. A, you're welcome. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being willing to do one of these videos with me on LinkedIn. My pleasure. Um, if people want to connect with you, is that uh, something you're open to? Absolutely. Okay, great. All right. Well, connect with Robin if you want to hear more about the uh, uh, education program. I would say grad studies or BED or BA education. Yeah, Faculty of Education. It's um, it it's rocks. A good program. Yes. It is a good program. On that note, yes. Yeah. So Ontario Tech U. Uh, uh, Robin K, Dr. Robin K. Do you like Dr. Robin or Robin Professor? Robin K is probably preferable. Robin K is preferable. Okay, thanks a oh, lot, Robin. Robin. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Robin K. Hi, Robin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.